Well, hey, how you doing? Um, I got notice, notice from some of you that I had not done Lesson 8 from the Rubank Elementary Method book. And um, so I promised I would do it. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm tardy on that promise. Things got a little crazy. Tax time. It's tax time in America. Yay. Go be love taxes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play Lesson 8 from the Rubank Elementary Method um, and get that up to you today. Uh, it is in what they call three-quarter time, which is really three-four time. Remember that there are three counts in every measure, and a quarter note gets one count. And that's all that means. And you can check out um, my time signature videos. It's up there in the eye there. Uh, check out those videos and make sure that you understand the time signatures. Make sure that you're using the translate to get the subtitles to hear what I'm saying. Use to translate to get the subtitles to know what I'm saying. Um, so we're going to start off with exercise number one, lesson eight, uh, from the Rubank Elementary Method for Saxophone. Every note except the last one gets three counts. Here we go. One, ready, go. <laughs> measure and let's see one two three four five six seven the seven and seventh and eighth measure we have a a dotted quarter note tied to a quarter note so together they get four counts right the last note it's a dotted quarter note tied to a quarter note so it gets four counts as well all right now let's do, go to number two uh, on lesson eight from the Rubank elementary method for saxophone here we go this exercise is in the key of f and it's got a B flat. Now, if you want to practice the bis B flat, you can. I'm going to use the regular B flat most of the time. Here we go. One, ready, go. <laughs> Now, you notice sometimes if your sound starts to get spitty, too much water in there, the, the quickest way is just to suck the water off the reed. It's the water that came out of your mouth. Then suck it off the reed and continue to play. All right, exercise number three, lesson number eight, Rubank Elementary Method for Saxophone. All quarter notes and quarter rest. One, ready, go. Easy enough, right? Now we're going to do exercise number four. It's one of those duets that have all the notes together. Golly, I hate that. I wish they wouldn't do that. So I'm going to play the top first, and go all the way through, and then I'm going to play the bottom notes, and then go all the way through. You ready? I'm playing the top, 
So you can play the bottom. Here we go. One. Ready? Go. <laughs> the bottom notes. The top notes have all the stems going up. The, the, the second part has all the stems going down. Here we go. One. And you can play along. Play the top now. You play the top. Well, I'll play the bottom. One, two, three, one. Ready? Go. <laughs> Do number five. Number five is all quarter notes and quarter rest. Um, there's one accidental. Now, if you hear where the accidental is, write it down in the comments. What measure that accidental um, took place and what that accidental is. Because we are in the key of F. And if you want to know more about keys, then I'll put that in one of the tag videos. Here it is. One, three. One, two, three, ready, go. Now, just like always, if I played it too fast, Stop the video, practice it, get it up to speed, and start the video again. Well, that's all of Lesson 8. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you ever so much for subscribing, for sharing, for telling your friends. I really appreciate it. Till we see you again in the next video. Bye-bye now.